We are on episode two of the Pence podcast, and we are graced with the employee of the year. So we're super excited. We just wanted to do kind of like a post post interview with him, see how he's feeling, where he's going, um, what his first thing he's going to do when he gets on the trip, and uh, just a little bit more about you know what employee of the year means to him. So without further ado, Alex. Thanks for having me. Yeah, Appreciate of course. Uh, so let's start out with, how do you feel? I know it's, you know, it just happened on Saturday. So we're kind of, we're, we're you, know, you know, we're two days away from it, but yep. how, how are you feeling? I'm feeling really good. I'm, I'm tired, I'm not gonna <laughs> lie to you. Had a good night, celebrated, uh, but it feels really good. It feels like, you know, I put a lot of hard work into it and feels like it paid off. So yeah. It's feeling good. Uh, super excited to go on vacation with my fiance, and I don't know. It hasn't really settled in fully yet, but uh, you yep. know, yeah, it's definitely something that I've been working towards for a long time. So to accomplish that has meant a lot to me, obviously. Yeah, because uh, I believe it's what four years, nine, ten months, something like that. Yeah, yeah, okay. just about five years. Just about five years. So, uh, and, and you've been in this customer uh, or the the sales position ever since yeah yep so when i started in uh, i think it was march of 2019 i was in training for a while obviously but yeah it was uh it was from when i started to now yep. okay um all right well then yeah let's get back on to uh the employee of the year stuff uh where are you going or where i mean i guess maybe you haven't decided yet but do you yeah. have an idea of where you want to go i have some ideas yeah so i want to go somewhere warm uh, obviously living here, dealing with the cold, it's like the last, I don't want to go to a cold place, but uh, I was thinking about like the U.S. Virgin Islands, it has to be somewhere in the U.S., can't, somewhere without a passport, so U.S. Virgin Islands, I was thinking about Sedona, Arizona, so I can go hiking and eat at some, eat at some good restaurants, you know, just relax, uh, or Florida, I was thinking one of those three, but probably, okay. probably U.S. Virgin Islands, to be honest with you. Okay. Um, is there, I mean, is there any specific reason you're thinking that? I mean, other than the fact that you can't go out of, you know, the U.S.? Yeah, so, I mean, U.S. Virgin Islands, I've never been there. I've always wanted to go there. Okay. Um, and it's a free trip, so in my head, it's like, might as well take advantage, you know? Yep, um, absolutely. But yeah, that's, for that place, I'd say that's the reason. And then I've been to Sedona. I went last year, but it's just so beautiful there. It's relaxing, like... The place I stayed at was the Hilton um, at Bedrock, and I looked at that place online, just kind of peeking at it. But okay. uh, just a really fun place, a lot of hiking outdoors. I like being outdoors, so yeah, to absolutely. me that's like a no-brainer. And it's warm there, you know. So that's another spot. And then Florida, I mean, you just can't go wrong going to Florida. It's it's warm, tropical. All year round. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's it's that's uh, probably it's my hot third. in the winter and hotter in the summer. So. Yeah, because I'm uh, I'm leaving to Florida on Sunday. Oh. to go visit my grandma so that florida's probably my last that's like plan c okay if all else fails i'll go to florida do you so, know what location in florida i was looking i'd say either sanibel island or the keys somewhere keys. more relaxing tropical be on nice. the beach yep. go find some seashells and get to see all the palm trees yeah, while you're driving yeah. down the boulevard so, type situation. something that's more towards the ocean yeah for sure fun mm -hmm. all right well um so yeah, now I, I just want to kind of um, touch on, uh, well, still on the topic of employee of the year, but just kind of touch on, you know, what it what it means to you and yeah. how you're feeling. I, I know that we kind of I, I already asked you like how you're feeling about it, yeah. but I just kind of want to know what your, it means to me. Yeah, what what your initial thoughts are on on yeah. how it, what it means. Well, I was super surprised that I won because I I thought. Kelsey had it in the bag to be honest with you um, obviously I'm glad I won but when uh, I saw the video for when they announced the winner I knew it was me because I remember filming that video yep. but my heart started pounding and uh, <laughs> thought I was gonna pass out but 
Yeah, it, it means a lot to me. I mean, obviously it's something that I've uh, worked towards the last couple of years. I was nominated last year, I didn't win, mm -hmm. um, which Tegan was more than, you know, honorable of that award. Yep. Uh, she's awesome, but yeah, it just to me it means so much because like you work towards, you know, being the best version of yourself and I feel like winning that is like confirmation that you are, you know. Uh, and obviously I set goals for myself. I was able to hit all those goals and that was my final one that I wanted to hit. And yeah, just to me, it's like, you know, something that I've always wanted to do and who doesn't want to win employee of the year? It's like you get to go on a free trip and you know, people congratulate you. It feels good. Um, feels like all your hard work is paying off, so. Oh, 100%. I mean, like you said, you've been here for almost five years now and yep. it, it's, it's nice to get that recognition and feel that what you're doing here is actually making a difference and that you're, like you said, bettering yourself. Yep. Just kind of having that everyday motivation that, hey, I wanna get this. And yeah. you set the goal and yep. you did, I remember you telling me at the beginning of last year, right after the party, that you know, like, I, I gotta win it next year. Yeah. I gotta win it next year. I was year. competitive with it for <laughs> sure. Um, but yeah, it's, I don't know, it's just something that, it means a lot to me and my fiance is obviously excited for me. She knows how hard I've been working to get to this point. And when I started working here, you know, it's, you're at the bottom. And yep. I saw all these people that were honorable for that award too. And, you know, just trying to learn from them, uh, like Esad, Elliot, you know, Julio, some of those top dogs in here. And um, yeah, just to get to that point is like crazy to me. Cause in the beginning, I never thought that I would yep. not knowing much about cars, but yeah, just sticking with it and working every day, treating every customer with the same amount of respect. It's like anyone can do it, you yep. know? Absolutely. Um, so just that's, work that's something that felt good too, because it's like you kind of exceed your expectations of your own self and who doesn't love that feeling? So, exactly. Yeah. All right. And then last question. When you get to whatever destination you will be at, yeah. what is the first thing you will be doing? First thing I'll do... Uh, Depends where I go, but... PG, PG. Yeah. <laughs> That's not the first, no. Um, first thing I would do is probably just, obviously unpack, but like go to the beach and just walk the beach and soak it in and just enjoy the weather. I don't know. Go get some good food. Like for me, I, when I go on vacations, I love uh, going to restaurants or places I haven't been or eating foods I haven't eaten. Yep. Not a picky eater and I like a lot of different ethnic foods. So I think trying some like local dishes or, you know, if, like seafood or yeah. just eating really good. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna eat, sleep in, take naps. Maybe drink a beer too. Drink know? a couple beers, obviously. <laughs> More than a couple, but. <laughs> Yeah, just drink, eat, and sleep, and repeat. Love it. Yeah. Well, thank you, sir. And once again, congratulations. Appreciate it. Uh, keep up the hard work, and uh, we're we're extremely happy and excited that you're an employee here. And thank you. Uh, excited to see what your future brings. Yeah. Hopefully, we can bring back another one. Yeah. Never, never know. know. <laughs> we'll see. All right.